and then you can see boom, 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 it skips over all of those. Now we can come over here and click and drag and kind of uh, let it kind of cash in if we go slow or if we use our arrow keys to kind of do that. A hack that you can do is if you aren't using a proxy and you want to do faster video editing, you can, uh, let's refresh this here. What you can do is after you make your cuts, just page up to each of the cuts. And what that does is everywhere the playhead stops, then it will cache that frame in. So now we've got all three of these cached in. Let's move back here. And now if we press play, look at that. Smooth, right over those. So it's my opinion that a possible fix for this would just be to program Blender to cache in every first frame of every strip automatically. And that wouldn't take up hardly any cache memory, even if you had a lot of cuts. But that would definitely allow for a lot smoother playback for those people who aren't using proxies. Boop. So if you like what you saw, head on over to my YouTube page, youtube.com slash C slash Blender Frenzy. I've got all kinds of tutorials about video editing and visual effects in Blender. You can also go to gumroad.com slash Blender Frenzy to find some Frenzy freebies where you can download project files to follow along with my YouTube tutorials. You can also support me there. So stay tuned for more and happy editing.